All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough of the extension, show you how to use some of the presets and effects. If you wanna try this out, you can go to the website and try it out for free. So why not start with the CRT overlays? And the way to apply all the effects on here, just double click and then it automatically asks your timeline, click play. And then you're, there you have a CRT. So obviously you can spell something out and then use the effects control to the right to position to kind of spell something out and be creative and do whatever you like. One thing to note is that you may have noticed the first time that I opened this, the previews lag like a second, but that's because it's feeding through our servers and it's not physically on your computer. When you play around with this a few times, see, notice like this, it's taking a, a little bit to load. Once that's loaded into your computer, it'll just open up super quick. See that? The first run through, you may experience a little bit of lag, but that's just based off of your internet. I'm just go right here, see that? This is my first time loading in. But once I open it again, it'll just be like super quick. These effects are 4K and they're really high quality. So like, for example, like this one, if I were to double click that, oh, actually it loaded in pretty quick. But depending on your internet, this may, you may see three little dots loading in, but that's because it's downloading it. But once you have it in here and you put it in once, it'll just be lightning fast, kind of the way that you saw it happen right there. Let's double click this one. See, this is a perfect example of it downloading from the server. Now this is a 4K clip, so it may take a little bit of while depending on your internet. Just be patient, let it load a little bit, and then now you have it on your timeline, click play. Let's say that's your favorite effect and you like to use it often. Next time you use it, you double click, it's, it's instantly because you already downloaded it, so it's fine. Now let's go to motion graphics. So if you see these like projector slides, so let's double click to add that. Now you may notice a little bit of lag, but this effect is pretty heavy. It's a nice effect, but it's uh, if you render it, it should play perfectly fine. Let's render this clip. Let's take a quick peek at it. Pretty cool, right? Now you may think, what is this guy doing here? This is not my footage. How do I change the footage? It's pretty simple. Just click on the effect right here. Go to essential graphics to your right and then click edit. And then here you can adjust the noise, the master blur, the opacity, the scale, the rotation. You can adjust anything. You, and then the way to change the image is click this hamburger menu right here and then click on replace from Explorer, choose your image, and then it'll automatically change your image. And then you can just simply play back and then that's cool. The cool thing is that you can also put a video in here. So if you replace from folder, from uh, replace from Explorer, just choose a video and then it'll just put it in there as well. Now the same thing goes for fisheye, any of these effects, if you double click this into your timeline, you can do the same to adjust it to anything that you want. Here's another example of the same thing. So these iPhone pop-ups, let's just add it on top of my clip over here and say I want that one. Double click to add, pops up. Central graphics, edit, hamburger menu, replace from explorer. Now sound design, these are all sound effects that you can use in your project. Just click on these and if you like a certain sound, just double click it and it'll add it to your audio channel. Now text presets. If you like, let's say for example, this one, double click to add. The way to adjust them is that you click on it and then you click to the right, essential graphics, edit, and then here you have all the effects controls. You can change the color, the text size, that you can change the photo. You can change that even to a video if you'd like, change the text, and that's pretty much how you use all of the text presets. So here I'm just scrubbing through a few of them. You can open a category and see what you like. Here's some YouTube subscribe ones. Do another one just to test. Let's say you like this one, double click to add. Boom, just once again, click essential graphics, edit, and then here you can change all the effect controls, change the text and size and everything. Now let's go to transitions. I have two clips here, right? The way to apply transitions is to find the cut in between your clip right there. Oh, I already have something, I'll just delete it. Let's find the exact cut right there. So here's my cuts and let's go and place the transition. Say you like that one, let's just double click to add. Adjust to your aspect ratio and you already see a problem, right? You may be like, what? This thing doesn't work. What's wrong? It's not working. The only reason you see those four squares is because you're viewing the preview, the video preview and less than full quality and that's fine. It's just bringing down the effects so that it's not too heavy on your computer. The way to see the full effect is just to simply click this button right here, full quality, and then you can just play it and you can preview the entire effect taking place. If you see those four squares, just know that you're viewing in less than full quality. The export won't come out as four squares. So if it's a little heavy on your computer, you can always bring it down. Just for this example, let's just do something else. I like that one, double click, and there you go. 
pretty simple right so yeah there's uh, tons and tons and hundreds of transitions you can scrub through the categories you can preview you can do whatever you want and the next category probably is my favorite as of now is this uh, gift section so you can find anything from the internet here if you're making like a funny YouTube video or something you just want to add like a little side note or whatever now the way to add them is just simply double click and that's it see how it's, so, so gifts are not perfect so you might see your video playing on the bottom right here just just click on it click effect controls and then you can just scale a little bit so this is much a much better alternative than going on youtube trying to find the clip downloading the clip and then bringing it into your project and doing all kinds of stuff just wasting unnecessary time when you can just find it in here one of my favorite ones on instagram right now are like this guy right here so if you like this guy just double click you can play him like that now on this one you may notice that you have it's not filling in the gaps but that's because this is scaling up to your timeline but it's also a square video most gifs are squares so you can just fix that by clicking the gif right here and then go into your effect controls and then just scaling it up like that and then there you go now you have a funny gif for your videos and that's pretty much the extension as of now, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any other questions, if something's messing up on your computer, something's not working, please email us. We can jump on a Discord call and we can figure this out together. It's important to install the extension with Premiere closed. If you get any other issues, just click this three little buttons right here, factory reset, close Premiere, reopen Premiere, and then click window extension, 640 extension, and it's automatically going to sign you in right there and then that's it if something's still messing up please feel free to contact us and then we can jump on a call and figure this out so thanks for watching hope you enjoy